right, so let's talk about guns here. All right, so I, I sent you both. This guy, I have this guy already, right? This is, mm -hmm. this is at the shop. Yep. So this is the SGS 28. Right. Swivel. Mm -hmm. Feels. So there's, there's the SG 28, which is the non-swivel version. That's the one that has which, the blue, right, and it has brass. Which I don't know how people outlet. survive with that one. <laughs> Everybody did fine before I started talking yeah. about this whole swiveling thing. And then, uh, and then you have the Mosmatic over there. So the, the back story on this is, I, uh, you know, I was using an MTM M407, right? So this mad scientist in Texas, uh, Gregory, Gregory uh, suggested, uh, suggested I, I consider using a short gun, right? This was, I don't know, three, maybe three years ago, something like that. Because you were using the Krenzler, the wand. Yeah, the big before, giant yeah. wand that comes with it. It's the, the, the wand, I think, is 32 inches, and then you have another 16 inches. So it ends up being about you know, almost 50 inches long, 40 well, inches once long. Once you use this, too, and that's just the sidebar before you go on, if you, you know, the thing that I found, because I used the wand before, mm -hmm. because at my shop I have the Sun, I have your Sunjo package, right. right? Which is, I have the Cobra Jet hose, adapted to the Sunjo with the SGS-28. Once mm -hmm. you use a shorty like this, yeah. I barely use the wand on a car. Yeah, a lot of times it's not necessary. I still like the application of it. And you'll notice when you have the, uh, you have like the little holster and thing, it just makes more sense to go back and grab it. Yeah. Um, but the, the original MTM M407 started using that, got rid of the big long part from the, you know, from the Krenzla, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then that's when I stumbled on the idea that, hey, we could, we could use this shorter gun, because what I was doing was I was washing the wheels with my garden hose, so I was rolling the garden hose mm -hmm. out, and then I would go and I'd, you know, and I'd wash the car with the, with the Krenzla gun, big yep. wanding gun, yep. just like any of them, they yeah, all yeah. big wanding yeah. gun. And then, uh, and then, but I, you know, I still had quick disconnect, so I could quick disconnect my phone cannon onto the Krenzler, but it was clunky and big and bulky. Uh, and so when I added the short gun, that's when I really started to chase, like chasing stainless quick disconnects and things like that. Yeah. And so eventually I'd upgraded for the MTM M407 to the SG28, which is basically the same thing, just a pretty Without, case. Yeah. Uh, and then the Mosmatic came about because I had bought a Mosmatic swivel um, somebody, uh, my buddy James in Claremont, uh, several years ago, turned me on to uh, a company out of Switzerland. He sent me the Mosmatic website it's because I was looking for a boom pole for the for the wash. Yeah. He said, "Check this company out." And so, because I was buying their boom pole, uh, I decided, you know, maybe maybe they have a better gun. And I decided to search their guns, but they didn't have this in their catalog at the time. This so one. I, so this I bought one of their swivels. Right, yeah. so I had a swivel. So I had, so if you take a look at like a hose, right? Yep. So the Krenzla hose, we need an adapter in between here, and then we have the coupler, and then so in between the adapter and the coupler, we had a swivel. Yeah. So I had three, three inches, inches of, bulk, of just right yeah. of stuff sticking out. Right. You even have that on your Sunjo because we need to adapt the Sunjo, yeah. and then we adapt that to the adapter, and then yep. Um, and then you have the integrated swivel. So imagine you put a big swivel in between there. Yeah. Uh, and so now you have all this bulk on the hose. And so then I was searching for something else in the catalog when I was looking for my boom pole after I had gone with the swivel. And, uh, and I saw there's a gun with an integrated swivel. And I called them up and I said, hey, um, you know, I'd like to buy this gun with the integrated swivel. And they said, no, nah, you don't really want that. This guy? Yeah. Right here. I yeah. said, yeah, if it breaks, then, you know, then you have to replace the gun. And uh, I'm like, no, 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 no. I think, I think I want it with a swivel in it. So they were trying to talk me into the swivel that I already had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, no, 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 let me get me, get me one. So I think I paid 100 and, 180 bucks for it because I had to pay 60 bucks to have it shipped over from Switzerland. I got it. I'm like, holy crap, this Game thing's changer. magical. And then, of course, I, I, I added it to the store. You know, I, I created the store. Uh, I, I've told this story 100 times. I, I bought 15 of them. Um, they only had one, you know, they, so they brought one to me and they brought another one over at the same time. And so there's only one in stock. And so the very first round of Krenzels that I sold, because I sold like 15 or 20 of them right off the bat, um, we didn't have these for months and months and months. And then I kept selling, kept selling, and, and that's why the SGS exists. This is like an interim. This was me calling um, MTM complaining that Mosmatic couldn't get me the stuff. Can you please take the SG28 and put a and swivel? Add a swivel, and they said, "Well, what else would you want? Yeah. And would you would you want if we if we were to build it?" And I said, "Well, I want everything to be stainless. 
This one, all the screws are stainless. The external connections are all stainless. The swivel is completely stainless. If you tore this apart, all the internals are completely stainless. We don't need stainless for what we're doing uh, because the whole purpose of stainless is it stands up to more pressure than brass. Yeah. But I think it looks better. Corrodes less. But just, yeah, you look at the. Right. Yeah. So the Mosmatic gun doesn't have a stainless internals. So that's a huge advantage that this has. Uh, this thing is 65 bucks. That's 110, right? But the difference, the main difference between the two are the swivels. I mean, you can even feel it. Just yeah, feel this the difference. Is, this, is, this is like you, you don't fluid, think about. Fluid, live, yeah, right. Yeah, Swivel, yeah. this is. This is to gets, get it started, you kind of got to. Gets the job done. This is world class. You can almost grab the soft side and swivel it right. like this. Whereas to here, you'd have to right. really grab onto it to turn Plus, it. Plus, yeah. I mean, this is going to hold up much differently. Well, it much feels, it, it's almost too, the, the this is plat like this is plastic. This is some sort of. It's thicker, dense. It's right? it's thicker. It's got a little bit of bite to it. Right. Uh, this one feels a little heavier. Uh, it just. So the other main advantage. So again, this this has brass components internally. Um, so this whole the whole head of it is brass. Yep. Uh, but the the big, di biggest difference on this is I mean you're talking about a, a fifty dollar swivel versus a ten dollar swivel. Yeah. Right. This also has the trigger mechanism in here. There's a big triangle plate inside of here. And so you can feel that snap. Well, that's because there's a ball bearing. This is a ball bearing actuated trigger. So you're not pulling water on until you, until you finish that Correct. click. This, this is just a single. Thing, but because um, that's, that's a snap on as well. But the, the mechanism here is plastic, you know, versus a big Well, there's no play there. either. Like the one when I use this at the shop, it's on, off. There's no right. half. Well, same with this. So these these are snap on, instant on. So when that's pressurized, mm -hmm. this display yeah, this, will this go away. This little play won't do anything. Yeah. Uh, but the main the main advantage is just longevity and quality. Use. This yeah this this trigger is going to last. Plastic a long versus time. yeah. But you know think about it. I think about it this way. Um, you know if I have a choice, I'm going to take the Mosmatic. Right? But for sixty. Five bucks. Right. So I think it's much more practical that if you're, let's say you're you're interested in buying the twenty-five dollar SG twenty-eight, you know, to swing up to sixty-five, you know, is another forty bucks. But then to add another forty-five, so the swing no, ninety-five dollars, ninety dollars yeah. yeah, difference. I, I get that not everybody's. First of all, you may not value your pressure washer all that much. You know. Secondly, that's a huge swing, a very yeah. steep, you know, change. So. You know, it's kind of like, you know, we were talking about Corvettes and McLarens earlier, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, Corvette's good. It's great, you know, yes. If I have a choice, I'm going to pick a McLaren, right? <laughs> if I have a choice between the two, you know, money, no object. Yeah. So this is the McLaren. This is the Z06. They still get the job done. They're still right. great products. Right. Like I said, I, I've never used this, you mm -hmm. know, uh, but I'm looking forward to using yeah. that. This, this guy, I mean, I've used this. I beat the crap out of it at the shop mm -hmm. at, a, at a professional yeah. level. And now I don't drop it on the ground all the time. I'm still conscious of putting it down, but so a couple of things, a couple of notes on all of these type of connections, right? So here's our here's our coupler that connects into our our, our gun. Uh, a couple of things to note: these and, and people people get hung up on. Okay, this is $110. It's $132 with the quick disconnect. This is six bucks. Yeah. This is three dollars. These are consumable. Yeah, right. they're gonna go. The O-rings, you're gonna drop them. You're gonna correct. Yeah. O-rings break. So I've had it where they break in three days, three months, three. I've some some of my originals have not broken at all. Yeah. So if you ever notice, if there if there's ever water shooting out, it generally means that you lost either a bearing, or you lost the O-ring. Right, the O-ring inside. Yeah. You beat it up, um, and the O-ring shot out. So if you lose an O-ring, a lot of times you can just replace the O-ring. If you lose a bearing, you're, which is much rarer, much more common to but lose an O-ring. But you replace the whole QD. But yeah. you see the black thing in there? Always yeah. make sure that if you ever have an issue with, with it, you know, with it leaking, that it's the O-ring. So most of the time, you, have you, most of the time, they're not, the, the gun's not failing. And it, is it mistaken? That Very people, rarely. People, are people are mistaking the leak down here because when it gets yeah. wet water comes out all over very yeah very rarely do we have a gun failure um, it's a quick disconnect or it's not on tight correct. enough or something another yeah. thing you'll notice is there's play that should go away that goes away under pressure and sometimes there's more play than others 
Yeah, yeah that's so got a little people more start to panic. I'm like, gosh, there's play. Well, there's supposed to be. You know, there, there's a, that's just the, that's enough tolerance in order to get it to in click there. Click it, yeah. Now, what could happen is, you know, these are Chinese made. Uh, I haven't found like a suitable, great, you know, German engineered or or an quick American disconnect, made, yeah. quick disconnect. And I, I did find one coming coming out of New Zealand, but this part alone is like 55 bucks, and I mean. I'm all for buying the best, uh, but they're really, really hard to source. They wouldn't be able to make enough of them. Well, for six bucks, you can replace it seven times. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could have that argument with anything, right? As well, we should buy a $150 Sunjo instead of a Krenzler because I could replace it you know, ten, ten times. times. Uh, but I think in this particular example, I think these are good enough, uh, and I haven't found a reliable source where I could have a really, really high-end, really stout, quick disconnect, and even if it were, I think you'd still have to replace them periodically. It's it's a con like you said it's, it's a, a wearable. Consumable. It's just it's gonna just like a car, Porsche, right. whatever. The brake pads are still going to wear at some point. The tolerance on these are acceptable to me. I think I think they're good. I've never I've never had an issue with them at all. I, I yeah I've only ever had one fail. But when you're sending thousands of them out, you're gonna have yeah you're going to. But I mean sometimes it, I have a rash where they. The, the O-rings, maybe they're a little more flexible than they were before, so I'll have three or four out of a hundred. I use mine, leaking. I've used mine, like I said, in the professional setting and have no issues. Now, again, I'm also very conscious of dropping it, putting it right. down, this and that. I'm not throwing it around, but it's still used a lot and I haven't noticed any wear or anything like that, but. Yeah, so we have an amazing, very quick, quick easy. easy. So when you're under pressure, obviously this won't come off. It's yeah. only when you relieve pressure. But this here. That will come off to put your phone can in. Because of the trigger of the gun. Right? Yeah. Because your phone cannon will go in yep. place. So that's the story behind SGS-28. This was my baby. Uh, and uh, so I usually don't like to take credit for things. But I mean, I literally got on the phone and begged them and pleaded. And said, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? And they made it exactly what I wanted. I do sell more Mosmatics. Um, but these uh, are, are very popular because they are considerably less money. These are not Chinese made, these are Italian made. You know, so it says right on the thing, made, yeah, in, made Italy. in Italy. So, so it's an even higher quality component than, you know, than the quick disconnects that go on. To most people, in, to most people if you gave them this, like, like this is my first time using that, mm -hmm. this was 110% OG approved. approved yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, so, so, for, for me, you know, I remember when I was trying to adapt, you know, I was working with you on trying to figure out the Sunjo right. setup, right? The adapter, the little female male adapter to get the hose to, and, and everything. And I said, you know, is, am I going to be okay with this? Because I was Definitely. looking at a yep. budget, it, because of what it was going to, right. uh, I didn't necessarily need the, right. the, the Mosmatic. Now, I wanted that for here, for, for the, the Krenzler setup and, and this... It's funny because um, I, I called Rob and uh, at Rob at MTM and I said, "Hey, I'm going up to Troy's and we're going to be doing this install." And he said, um, "Well, we need to. You need to give him an SGS as well." And I said, um, "I said, okay, you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll just do both of them." Yeah. And he said, um, "You know, take care of me here. Like, don't, you know, don't make us look bad." And I said, "Dude, I, I, I can't. I mean, it's you, it's it's <laughs> a you're going to say the Mosmatic is great and this sucks." I'm not, I'm, I'm not blowing smoke. I mean, you can't. It, it it's it's awesome. You know, it's awesome for the for the price point that this yes. is. This will, is better. You, that's better, but that's a different price point. This yeah. Th this is not. I mean, it's the same thing, so to speak, right. right? But for the for the money for the price point, you can't. Right. You I can't think it'll, I think I'll probably as as there's more awareness on this, I'll probably end up selling you know half and half of these you know over time you know especially as as hopefully my audience keeps getting bigger and yeah. I have people that maybe aren't quite, you know, OG, you know, full on OG crazy. But they want something that's not going to, this is, this yeah, is this, it. This yeah. Is this is, this is, like I said, I've never used that, never touched it until today. Um, and I, I didn't even question yeah. that this wasn't so the, um, acceptable. The other part that we have sitting here, which we'll talk about a little more when we put on the hose reel, this is a OG specific 
uh, uh, Cobra Jet hose. You have the old hose, right? Oh, it's so a lighter blue. It kind of right. matches. So notice this is a smoother jacket. Yeah, it's so not the, So the light, the light blue that you have is a non-marking hose, but it's still, the blue can still leave like a mark on your white floors. Yeah. Um, this is truly a non-marking. Doesn't mean the hose doesn't get marked from you driving around. It means that it's it won't mark It's not going to transfer color. Right. It won't transfer it to there. And then the, the pliability of this hose it's, that's really for a pressure washer hose is pretty incredible. I mean, most most hoses won't. You know, those pressure washer hoses won't allow you to come, and they're not gonna. They're not as pliable as this hose. You can almost kink the thing, um, which which is. And then it just it just goes back to. Right, know. which is very different than most pressure washer hoses that are really impliable. You'll still have a difficult time winding it up by itself because it is a pressure. It is a, a you have to you hose. have to un the Cobra Jet at the shop does. I don't have the, the hose reel, so. Right. The hose I have, reel I, makes it a lot easier. I pull it all the way out, and then and then I, as I'm pull, I go back right. to the pile and I wind it, but I have it. to twist it as mm -hmm. I wind it. And yeah, so you'll notice with the hose reel and the combination of this pretty pliable hose, um, I think that other blue. I like the other blue a little better than this color blue, but this this um, this smooth jacket style is pretty legit. Um, so that's been the big change to to. Um, the package from the very beginning is that getting the smooth jacket hose, and the reason why we went to this is the other one they stopped making it completely discontinued. I remember, yeah. Um, and I was disappointed, but then this was better, so yeah. it worked out. It's a it's a hose. Right. It'll be so that's the fine. those are the guns. Yeah. What happens when the when the force pulls you back? Your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor, foot to the floor.